הקדוש ברוך הוא כתוב מסכת חגיגה, דף י"ד עמוד א', 14a1. If you remember, we were just mentioning the entire concept of Tanya, we learned in a brayta. אמר רבי שמעון החסיד, זה זה רבי שמעון החסיד, אלו תשע מאות ושבעים וארבעה דורות שקולטו לי בראות. If you remember, we were talking about the tough tough kufem tet, the דורות, all these דורות, which is basically going to be 900. Okay, that's how you get the, right, because the tough is 400, tough is 400, kuf is 100, right, and then it's going to be 900 mm tet. So this is going to be the, the 900, sorry, no mm tet, I uh, bet, right? So he says the, the 974 generations, which they were not created at the end. Okay, so that's why we said there were 26 generations only that was created until the Matan Torah. Then they weren't created. came and he planted them amongst all the different generations. So these are the people that are azuk panim. They have audacity. They have chutzpah. You know what chutzpah is? Yeah, they have chutzpah. So the people which are chutzpanim in the generations, right? Those are the people which were actually supposed to be created during that time, and they were not created. Okay. But Rav Nachman bar Rav Nachman bar Yitzchak comes and he says, "Asher kumetu libracha hu dichti." When it says "Asher kumetu," that is actually for a bracha. That there's going to be a bracha coming to the tzaddikim, and not to do with the kelalav the reshaim. Meaning, we are we were just learning it in a negative fashion because we just said "Asher kumetu v'loed nahad yitzchak yisodam." Was talking about keilu that it's the reshaim that were not created that were supposed to be created for those 972 generations. And because of that, we came and we dispersed it amongst the different generations. Was actually said for a beracha, meaning for the tzaddikim, not for the reshaim. Elu talmidei chachamim. This is the talmidei chachamim shemekametzin et tzman. That mekabchim et tzman shena al divrei Torah ba'olam hazeh, which means that they're taking away, they're depriving themselves of sleep in this world. Hakadosh baruch hu megalen laim sod la'olam ba. So he's going to teach them a lot of secrets. Right in the future. Right? He comes and he says the Nahar is going to be coming and it's going to be giving the Yesod, the words, basically the secrets. So Akush Baruch is giving the secrets to the Tzadikim because they are Asher Kumetu, because they are coming and taking away sleep from their eyes. Another concept that we also learned, Amal Shmuel Lechia Barab, says Shmuel to Chia Barab, Bar Uria, you know what Bar Uria means? Ben Torah. Remember when it says Bar. Bar is a child, right? So Bar Uria, right? The son of the Torah. That's also one of the reasons why we actually use Bar in the in the Ketubah. Because remember, Ketubah, everything's Aramaic. So since everything's Aramaic, we say, right, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. This Bar, Bar, it's always Bar. Another reason also was actually told to me by my rabbi, Rav Asayag. He told me that another reason why is because the, a lot of last names, when I talk about a lot, right, you could, it's always Ben. Right, the Moroccan last names, you have Ben Arosh, Ben Samon, Ben Dayan, Ben Dahan, Ben, ben, uh, ben, ben Mergi, Ben, ben Susan, Ben, uh, there were so many Bens, right, the Bs, right, you could even tell it in our, in our cards, right, in the cards, you know, you have a very few, all of a sudden it comes the B, and the B is like this thick, right, so there were so many Ben, 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 they didn't know if the Ben was because it was part of the last name, or it was actually because he was the son of somebody else, so because of that, they used to do Bar as something else, and therefore it said, if it said Ben, you already knew Ben was part of the last name. Right, that was another reason which was robbed down. But anyway, so it says here, Ben Torah. What does it mean, Ben Torah? You become the son, right? Yeah, we say uh, the son of Ben Torah, because he is the person, the son of the Torah. So he says, Come and tell me something that, right? Come and tell me something which, which is going to be something very, very good, which your father told us. So he says like this, every single day, every single day, there are going to be Malachi Asherim, which are created from Nehar Dinu. Right? Then they say Shira, and then there are Betelim, meaning, what does it mean? What does it mean? means that he's being Mechadesh, right? He's coming and he's making them new. So that's what it says here. All the when it says here, it's all the praises in the new malachim which are created every single morning. That's why it's chadashim lo bekarim, right? And because of that, we have 
מודה אני לפניך ואני חביבה, שאחרי זה אדוני נשפטי בחמלה, אינן אצל רבה אמונתך, אז רבה אמונתך is off based upon this פסוק in אחד. So that's why you have to put a pause and then you do רבה אמונתך because of this פסוק. That's where the פסק is supposed to be, yeah? פסק. So he says now like this, ופליגה דה רבי שמואל בר נחמני, and this argues on רבי שמואל בר נחמני. אמר רבי שמואל בר נחמני, אמר רבי יוחנן, רבי יונתן, says רבי שמואל בר נחמני, נאמר רבי יונתן, כל דיבור ודיבור שיוצא מידי הקדוש ברוך הוא נברא ממנו מלאך אחד. Every דיבור והקדוש ברוך הוא, it creates a מלאך, שנאמר בזה זה הפסוק, בדבר השם שמיים נעשו. With the דבר השם, the שמיים was made, right? ורוח פיו, כל צבא עמים. With the רוח of his mouth, right? With the breath of his mouth, is כל צבא עמים, צבא שמיים, which is the מלאכים. So they are made with the רוח פיו והקדוש ברוך הוא. Says the פסוק, כתוב אחד אומר, one פסוק says, לבושי כפלג חיוור, מוסר רשי כאמר נקה. which means the levush, the clothing, right, levushe, is like talag. Remember, talag, taf and shin are interchangeable in Aramaic, and therefore teleg is actually sheleg, right? Kiplag is like sheleg. Usar reshe, and the hairs of his, of his uh, head, right, is like ka'amar neke, is like amar, amar is like tzemen naki, it's like a uh, wool, right, it means very white. Uchtiv, and one of them says, right, it says over here, kibutzotav taltalim, that the sarot rosho, are like taltalim, we know taltalim are, they're the curls, right? Shechorot, kaorev, are black, right? Like a raven. So make up your mind. Is the hairs white or is the hairs blacks, right? They have completely two opposites. So therefore we have to understand, right? Which the, again, these are psukim which are comparing to the Kadosh Baruch Hu. So it says, Lakash, yes, not a question. Kan bi yeshiva, the kam milchama. Here we're talking about like a zakin, right? We're talking about an elderly person, right? That he has white hair. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu is compared to that when he sits judgment. Meaning when Hashem sits, it doesn't mean that physically he's got black hair, because remember HaKadosh Baruch Hu is not something physical, so you cannot uh, attribute him, you cannot attribute him to any of these uh, things. However though, when he's sitting yeshiva and he's judging, so then it's like he's an old man, everything white hair, that's the way it is, right? He says, but when he's going to go out to war, right, all of a sudden it's like the curly hair and the, you know, the big uh, black hair and everything, why? because he's the warrior going out to our Taman Mor, but Mor says, Who is the best person to, to sit in yeshiva? A person that's elderly, somebody that's already older. That, so he's fitting to sit in yeshiva and to be doing that. But who is the one that is proper to do uh, war, to do battle? That is going to be the Bakhur. The warriors are going to be the young, so that's why it has to be uh, the black hair. What? Another... One pasuk says, "Karse shevivin binur," right? That is, kise is made out of nitzotzot esh of uh, sparks of fire. The katuv echad omer. One of the pasuk says, "Adi karsavan ramin v'atik yomin yetiv." That I saw how the kisaot were placed, and there's many kisaot. Meaning, I don't understand. There's one kise, or there's many kisaot, because here it says, "Di karsavan." It's a plural, right? It doesn't say karse, like, which is like one one kise. So says the Gemara. Like a shasar question. One of them is for HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and one of them is for David HaMelech. Yeah, it says over here, this is a pasuk, when it says, David Mizmor, Neum Hashem Ladoni, right? Shev Limini, what is Shev Limini? Sit to my right side, and there it's talking about, right, for uh, David HaMelech. Because the Tanyans, we learned in the right, Echal Lo Vechal LaDavid, Tivir Rebbe Kiva, these doors of Akiva, Amal Lo Rebbe Yosea Gelilei Akiva, says Rebbe Yosea Gelilei Akiva, he says, Amatai Eta Osa Shechina Chol, until when are you going to make Shekhinah into something mundane? They're both a Kadosh Baruch Hu. But one of them is for deen, for justice. And one of them is for righteousness, for tzedakah. So they're both for a Kadosh Baruch Hu. So says the Gemara, Kiblamine or lo Kiblamine? Did, did Rabbi Akiva actually receive it? I Meaning, did he accept that or not? Because we want to find out. Did he actually accept that notion or not? So Tashima, we're going to try to find out. What are you doing now uh, to learning about Hagadot? Hagadot, and Yaakov, things like that. What are you doing with all these things? You should go be dealing with the hard stuff, the difficult subyot. Right? He says one of them is for the kise. And one of the shafraf, remember the shafraf was like the stool that you used for your feet. So one of them was actual throne. And one of them was for like the stool. So therefore you see from here that Rabbi Akiva was actually retracted 
and he started holding like Rabbi Yosef Gilile, that it was not for David Melech, it was one for Akalash Baruch for Din, and one for Sedaka. Okay? No, that was the, uh, again, Kiva retracted. The next opinion of Rabbi Lazar ben Azariah was one for the Kise and one for the, for the Shafraf, which is like the stool. Yata Ravdini, by the way, it is actually interesting also to try to understand why out of everybody does David Melech get the Kise. So that's in, in itself also. Well, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. It's very, very interesting, but you know, this is, uh, well, that's, yeah, that's what it says over here. He gets the Kise. Right, and it's not that anybody else, like we said, not uh, nobody, yeah, David Amelech. Well, so that's a whole question also. And this is actually very matim to the Gemara Sahim. The Gemara says, Who's the one that's going to make the Beracha? Right, the Beracha is going to be David Amelech that's going to make the Beracha. It's not going to be Abraham, Yitzhak, Yaakov, Moshe. Yeah, it's going to be David Amelech. So there's a lot of what to you could connect over here, connect a lot of dots. Kiata Ravdimi, when Ravdimi came from Eretz Yisrael to Babel, Amar, he said, do you know that Yeshaya Navi, he came and he cursed, right? 18 different Puranut on Bnei Israel, right? This is obviously talking about, okay, why is it Gemara saying about the Shmona Israel, right? The Onashim, right? So he comes and he says like this, he says, but he wasn't appeased until he actually said this Pasuk in Yeshaya, that the, the Naar will become Ge'e, will become... Uh, Haughty, yeah. arrogant, proud over the zaken over the elderly, and the mevuze in somebody that's going to be respected. So the Gemara is going to explain what are we talking about exactly? What are these eighteen curses? So he says it says in a pasuk. This is right before there in pasuk Aleph Tehei. Ki neha don Hashem tzevakot mesir nushleim miyuda. He's going to re- re- remove from Yehuda and Yerushalayim mashen, which is like a support mashena. It sounds like the same thing. Also, uh, support, but just uh, in female. Okay. Um, tell me if the, in English it says something different. Obviously, mainstay. what does it say? Support and main, mainstay. Mainstay. Okay. I don't know what the, what the difference is. Talk about what that means even. Kol mishan lechem, any type of a support for bread. The kol mishan mine, support for water. Gibor, a strong person. Ish milchama, a warrior. Shofet, a ruler. Navi, a prophet. Kosem, somebody that does. Magic, I don't know why that's a curse, right? Vizaken, Rebbe's, we shouldn't have Kosem Kesem. Vizaken, an elderly, elderly people. Sarchamishim, why Sarchamishim, Davka, not all the other Sarim, I don't know. Unsufanim, people that carry, right, that carry with them. Yoetz, an advisor. Chacham Chadashim, person that's very, very smart. Nevon Nachash, somebody that's a Navon, right? That's also, it's another type of wisdom. That's what we call Navon Chacham, Chacham and Navon. Right? Venatati Nearim Sarehem, I'm going to place the lads into rulers, right? The Talulim Im Shulubam, right? And then they are going to be, right? That's going to be Talim, I don't know how you want to translate this one. Talulim Im Shulubam. They're going to be ruled by Talulim. By what? Mockers. Mockers, okay. Uh, sorry, And they're going to push each other. So now we're going to explain now. Mash'en, who are the Mash'en? The ones that are the supporters. Elu people that learn Torah. They have to know all of Tanakh. Why? Because the people that learn Tanakh, right, the Kitriya Kodesh, these are the Mish'en, these are the people that are supporters because they have the what to rely on, if you remember. You remember that's when we were speaking about in the Mishnah previously. They have what to rely on. What do you rely on? A supporter, a support. Why? Because that's in the Torah. So keep in the Torah. Mash'ena, right, is what? Bale Mishnah. That's what it comes from. He goes, for example, Rabbi Yudam and Tema Avachavirav, right? So he says, what? For example, Rabbi Yudam and Tema and his friends, Right, that they were mamash bikiim in Mishnah. So Pligi Bar, Rav Papa, Rav Rabbanan, right, they actually come and they actually argue, Rav Papa, Rabbanan, Chadam, one of them says, says, Sheshmel Tzidre Mishnah, during the times of Yudam and Tamam Chavrav, there were 600 Sedarim of Mishnayot. The Chadam, one of them says, Shva Me'ot Tzidre Mishnah. There were 700, right, of uh, Mishnayot. Okay? So that means basically, obviously, there was a, it was okay. So here in the footnotes, also there's a lot of what to talk about. Exactly what what there was much more, less, but that's how many sedarim. Okay. People that are supporters of bread. Who is this referring to? Baalei Talmud. People that they have gemara. Why? Because Baalei Talmud they have what to rely on. That's the ikar michiyav ben adam. The ikar of the of what a person sustains themselves is on bread. So therefore, the bread is the gemara. It's Baalei Talmud. Whether you're going back and forth. Yeah, yeah. 
right? He says, What does that mean? He comes and he says, You're going to be eating bread, right? With bread. And you're going to drink wine, right? Which I poured. Masachti is which I mazagdi, right? Which actually came and I poured. Okay? And anyone that's for the water, the water is agada. Why? Because the bread is something hard. That's kimara. You have to break your head over it. Mine is a. Uh, what you know, any that? alcohol or things like that, you know, so that, that's and the concept. The, yeah, that is mine. It's like water. Why? Because everyone likes to hear it. Everyone likes to drink water. Water is something, uh, so agadot, everyone, but it's, uh, bread is a little bit harder. That's much, uh, you understand, know, but water, it goes down easy. It's agadot. Okay. Okay. He says, These are bale gada it's going to be moshech, right? It's going to come and it's going to draw forth the hearts of human beings like agada. What is a gibor? The bal shmuot. Bal shmuot are people that are baale halachot, which they come and they give halachot psukot from the rabbis. So those are people which are giborim. They're strong, but it's not only that they know the gemara, right? And they know obviously the the agadot, but it is a different class. These are the poskim. These are the ones which are giving psak halacha. So these are giborim. Aish milchama is this yodea lisav liten mimichamta shon torah. So Aish milchama is somebody which he knows lisav liten mimichamta shon torah, which means that he knows. He knows the milchama of Torah, and he knows how to fight back and forth. What is a shofet? A shofet is a judge that he's going to judge favorably, which means good, right, and truthfully. Navi, what is a navi? We know the, what a navi is. A navi is exactly the way it is written. It's a prophet. Kosem. So now, again, we have to understand what is a kosem, because I told you before, why was a kosem a bad thing? Kosem in the Torah is something actually negative. He says, no, kosem here, is actually like a boche, which is a melech, is a king. So the kosem is a ruler, is a king. Shneemar says in a pasuk, kesem al sifte melech, nachash, right, on the sifatayim of a melech, on the lips of a king. So therefore we know here that it's actually a king. Zaken is ra'uy leyeshiva, which means that he's already somebody that's fitting to already sit down to, to yeshiva, right, to give over the Torah. Sar chamishim, so, right, so I asked, already asked you, why is it sar chamishim, why not sar emeot, sar eme alafim, why Dafka writes Meot, Sare Khamishi, Sare Asara, Sarot? What's going on? He says, No, Sar Khamishim, Alti Kres Sar Khamishim, Ella Sar Khumashim. What does that mean? Zesh Yodali Savali Temel Khamisha Khumshe Torah. That they know how to come and to go back and forth in Khamisha Khumshe Torah. Now he says, This is not the same thing as the Balemikra, because Balemikra, right, where it says over here, these people are the Kim and the Nusach of all Kitriya Kodesh. But they don't know how to be mitamek. The sar chamishim, they do know how to mitamek. Meaning, bale mikra, they just know humash, right? They know tanach, right? But they don't know how to go into the depths of it. Sar chamishim is sar chumashim. They know how to go into the depths, how to learn all the chamisha chumshet Torah and to understand what is going on, right? Remember, it's all chamisha chumshet. Yeah. So he says here, Dama Rabbi Avu, who says Rabbi Avu, like Rabbi Avu, Nikan Shem Amidim Tergumen and Sibur Pachom Yichamishim Shana. It says we're never going to put a turgeman on the tzibur to translate sukim if he's less than 50 years. Because that's why he said chamishim. That's why he got the chamishim, chamishim shana. He says, but somebody that did not have the 50 years, right? He says he cannot come and he could do that. During the time of the Tamud, they always used to have the, the turgeman. So here he's saying, sar chamishim is ben chamishim. It's like that he's 50 years old, that he already knows enough of the sukim in order that he, he could actually understand. Right? So here he says, because ben shnemasar is already starts learning mishnayot, and a person does not know that rabo until after 40 years. So when he's already going to be 50 years old, he already starts understanding, right, all the things of the chumash and everything that's going on. Okay, unsufanim. What is unsufanim? Zesh nosim panim ledoro bavuro. That means basically in the shamayim, they come and they are nosep panim biglalo, which means they come and they, the Akadosh Baruch Hu will show his face, meaning that he will be nice to us because of this nesofanim. Lemala, kegon, for example, bichanyab in dosa. Ulemata, and down here, right, which are in umot olam. For example, Rabbi Avhu, right? Rabbi Avhu says the Gemara hey, where in the Bekesad, in the house of the Caesar. So that means that basically there are people which are in the Supanim, whether it's going to be Lamala or Lamata, whether it's going to be in the upper worlds or in the lower worlds. Yoetz, what is a Yoetz? So the advisor is not really an advisor, it's somebody that he knows how to come and to do the leap years, right? Whether it's going to be for the years or for the months. Chacham, who's a Chacham? So a Chacham is not really a rabbi. It's a student which is making his rabbis chacham, chachamim, like he's making them more learned, right? That's what it says over here. 
חדשים, מה זה חדשים? שבשעה שפותח בדברי תורה, הכל נעשים כחדשים. When he opens his mouth in דברי תורה, everybody starts becoming like אילמים, they become like a mute, they don't know how to talk, because they just, wow, they're, they're, they're astounded at the wisdom, so that's חדשים. נבון, what is a נבון? A person that's נבון is like a novice, he says over here, it's a מבין דבר מתוך דבר, he's a person that understands one thing from another thing. So you tell him A, and then he understands that A is A, so B is B and C is C, that's called a נבון, right, from בינה, from understanding, that he knows how to, how to do these things. לחש, what is לחש? זה שלא יודעים למצוא לדברי תורה שגם לחש. לחש is somebody that he knows how to accept תורה, right, from דברי תורה, סתרי תורה. Because remember, סתרי תורה is talking about from mouth to ear, so that's the לחש, it said, secret. ונתתי נערים שריהם. What does it mean now that I'm going to give the נערים, right, to become שרים? Meaning I'm going to give the youngsters, the lads, in order to become the, the, the rulers. מה ונתתי נערים שריהם? אמר רבי אלעזר, אז רבי אלעזר, אלו בני אדם שמנוערים מן המצוות. These are the rulers which they are נעורים מן המצוות, they're empty from the מצוות. תעלולים ממשלובם. What does that mean? It says here that they're like mockers. אמר חבר יעקב, תעלה בני תעלה, זה שואלים בני שואלים. Which means that basically, who are the leaders? The leaders are going to be people which are עמי הרצות, which are going to be against the Torah, which are going to be, right, which is also the, during the time of Mashiach. What's going on now in the, in the government? That's what's in Mefurash and the Mishnah, in the end of the Sotah. I'm saying it's not, it's not something new. We knew this was going to happen, you understand? During the time of the Mashiach, right? It's going to be minut. It's going to be all over a thing. So the only thing is, it's minut with a kippah, you understand? But it's minut. At the end of the day, that's what it is. So he says, So he says, and it wasn't mitkarer dato. He says, until it was told to them, yiravu anar bazaken. That is still, the nikle is going to go into the nikhbad. What does that mean? Elu ben adam and orim yimensot, yiravu, they're going to be mitgae. So they're going to start being arrogant on people which are full of mitzvot. I mean, you have the people that are empty in mitzvot. Now they should be respecting and saying, listen, he is an empty guy. As they say, right? He's empty like a shofar. Right? There's nothing. They're all hollow. And he wants to start being gay on something that's full of mitzvot. But that's what they're doing. So therefore, that's what he's coming. And he says, Somebody that's going to come and all the Averot Hamurot, for him, they're like Kalot. That means all the things which are strict, for him, ah, big deal, right? Whether it's going to be Kashrut, Gerut, all these things, wow, big deal, what's a big deal? Let everybody do it. It should be open. Liberals. So what happens? He says, Yiravu Bemish Kalot, Kachamurot, right? He says, they are going to come and they're going to be arrogant over the people that for them, the opposite. All the Kalot are Domot Alav Kachamurot. Right? I mean, they're going to be arrogant over the people that for us, even the Dvarim Kalim are like Dvarim Chamurim. Right? That means with the Mamash, that for us, everything is Mamash like a Khumra. Why? Because even, because that's the way that it is. So that's when he was uh, calmed down. So now says the Gemara, Amar of Katina, and of Katina comes and he says, remember, we just mentioned now the 18 curses. Afilu keshat b'shat kishlona shal Yerushalayim lo pasku men ba'alei amana. One second, but how could that be? Because even when Yerushalayim was destroyed and everything that you want, right, we still have ba'alei amana. We still have people that were always talking truth. Which means the Pasuk is coming and is actually coming and saying how bad Israel were. That Rafu Yedehem from learning Torah and they were Anim and Torah. But still they were the Bali Amana. So he says, right, Things which B'nai Adam, which they come and they, they, they clothe themselves with, which are Divret Torah. Do you have it under you? What is the Zot? Things which a person only comes, and these are Shemuot, that basically when a person comes and they transgress them, that's when they start learning them, and they become better in them. Is it going to be under your hand? So he says, I'm not going to be chovesh. There's not going to be bread, there's not going to be clothing. What is Yisa? He says, any Yisa Lashon Shavua, it was, a, it was a, an oath. Shneemar, lo tisa, shem anashem lo kecha, lashem lo yeh chovesh. She was not from the Shaktanim in the Beit Midrash. Therefore, there's not going to be not bread and not simla. And therefore, you cannot place me as a Ketzineam. So you see from here that even during the time of Kishonav Yerushalayim, you're right. There's not going to be Torah. There's not going to be... But at the end of the day, they still have Midat HaEmet. Right? So it says the Gemara, no. Maybe it's different over there. Maybe he says, imagine right now, right, you cannot bring a proof from there. Why? Because if they would come and they would tell him, no, right, I'm, I'm taught, 
they would come immediately and say, tell us what you learned. So therefore, and he would have to actually admit that really by met, he has, he has nothing. So therefore, it's not true that they had me that time now because they didn't. Meaning a lot of people came and they showed themselves that they're big rabbis and they know a lot. Really, Bermet, there's nothing there. Not completely, there's nothing there. So he says, right? So the Gemara says, one second. He could have said, Gemara Meshachach. He used to listen. He learned, but he forgot. So my lo yechovesh. What do we mean? I cannot be yechovesh. Lo yechovesh klal, that he never actually learned. So for he was actually modial emet, and therefore, right? Even if it's going to be mitgale. So he says, any is it so? The Amar Rava Rava comes and he says, Lo charvay Yerushalayim asher b'stumim mina baalei amuna. The reason why Yerushalayim was destroyed was because there was no more baalei amuna anymore. Meaning people were not saying the truth. And that's why it became destroyed. Shlema. Shotetu bechutzot Yerushalayim. They started going around in, in the chutzot Yerushalayim. Uruna udu bukshu bechotei. And they're going to look inside the streets. If you're going to find a person that's yashar. And yesh osem mishpat mubakesh emuna. Beslachla. Then I will come and I will forgive it. So you see from here, right, that it's not true. There was no hipaskim uh, emuna. And that's why it got destroyed. Says the Gemara Laka she asked a question. Yudal Adam Ubet 14b. Ha be divrei Torah, the ha be musamotan. Be divrei Torah havu, which means people were still speaking emet and divrei Torah. They would tell you they never learned it. They, they were a bur and a maaretz. They would tell it to you, right? They admitted to the truth. They wouldn't like nowadays they come. No big rabbi, big no, 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 no. They would tell the person, no, he's bemet a bur and a maaretz. He knows nothing. But to do the masal matan, they weren't. Remember, business is business, right? Moses and Moses and Moses, Moses. Moses. What does it mean? Some people, they come all of a sudden uh, when it comes to Masao Matan, they lost it. So in Divret Torah, they were truthful. But to do with uh, Masao Matan, they were cheating each other in business. There was no Baalei Muna. Tanur Rabbanam, we learned in Abraita. Okay, listen to this. There was a story of Rabbi Yochanan and Zakai that he was riding on a donkey. And he was walking on the path. So Rabbi Lazaben Arach, his student, was Noheg the Chamor behind him. Amar lo, he comes and he tells him, Rabbi, sheneli pedek echav maase merkava. Teach me something maase merkava. Amar lo, he told him, lo kach shaniti lachem. Why didn't I teach you v'lo merkava yachid? Elim kenei chamimim ato. He says, what? I thought, right? I thought that I could only, I taught you that you only teach it to a person that he's already a chacham mevim idato. Amar lo, he says, Rabbi, tarsheni lo malefane chad varechad shlematani. He says, do you permit me to say something in front of you? Amalo, he says, Emor, he says, say, Miyad Yarad Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakai, Miyad Al-Khamor ben Itatef, Yashav Lai ben Tachad Azai. So immediately Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakai, he got off the donkey, yeah, he was Mitatef betalito, he sat on the even Tachad Azai. Amalo, and he went and he said, Rabbi, Nipnei Meyarat Amal Al-Khamor, why did you go off the Al-Khamor? Amalo, he says, Efshah Shatza Doresh Maseh Merkava Ushchina Imanu, Malachi Hashem Lavin Otan, Bani Erkav Al-Khamor? He says, I don't understand, he says, we're going to be Doresh the Maseh Merkava, the Shchina is with us. Malachi Asherah, they're accompanying us. And I'm going to be on a chamor? Right? Came a fire down from heaven, and it was going around. But right, it went around all the trees in the field. So all the trees came and started saying shira. My shira, which shira did they say? They said, So there was a malach from a fire that said, this is Maase Merkava. Madi Yochanan Zakai, she called a show. So comes Rabbi Yochanan Zakai and he kissed him on his head. Okay, this is Rabbi Lazar Ben Arach. What? His student, right? He kissed him on his head. Amar Baruch Hashem and Okei Yisrael Shanatam Ben Lavram Avinu Shiyadia Lavim Lachpov Lidrosh Maase Merkava. He says, look at the Baruch Hakadosh Baruch Hu, right? That he gave a child to Avram Avinu that he knows to understand and to be choked and to expound on Maase Merkava. Yesh Nae Doresh Ven Ven Nae Mekayim. There's some people that they know how to give the drashot. But they don't know how to apply it. Or people don't know how to apply it, but they don't know how to give the derasha. Right? You are nae doresh and nae mekayem. Ashecha avinu ram avinu shalaza ben rach yitzam achlatzecha. Ushenei amru advarim nifnei Yeshua. So when he said this in front of Yeshua, hayar rabbi ayahu rabbi Yosho rabbi Yosai kolem alchim aderech. They were both on the way. Amru and they said, af anu nidrosh b'maasei merkava. We're also going to come and start being doresh in maasei merkava. Patach rabbi Yosho b'derash yoto ayom tukbat amuzayah. Now that day. It was Tammuz, right? That means it was in the middle of, of the of the summertime. Okay, so he says, So it looked like there was a keshet, right? So they were all coming to listen. Just like people come to see the Khatam Vekala, which means when they come, you know, they come in front of the Khatam Vekala and they do all these uh, shticks, 
oh, they go on their head, they go this, they start juggling, they start doing all these different things. So everyone, and everyone comes and they start watching. So same thing, just like everyone, so everyone was coming, they were all watching, the Malachim were coming to watch, right, about everything. Halach Rabbi Yosef, when 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 Rabbi Yosef, and he told these things in front of Rabbi Yosef, Amar, Ashrechem Ashri Latechem, Ashre Anai Shekach Ra'u, fortunate in my eyes that this is what they're saying, that Fani Vatem Achalumim, so you know, in our we were also by our Sinav, and Yitzhana Aleinu Batkol, in the Shemaim, there was a, a, a Batkol coming up from Shemaim and saying, Alu Lekan, Alu Lekan, right, come up, come up, Tlaklin, Kedolim Matzaot Naot, Naot, Matzaot Lachem, Right, so he says over here from the kitod which are in front of the of the shechinah. So basically, what we're trying to say here is that you know that he was very happy that these are all his students and everything that they're all being doresh right in the maasem el kavad. The marsha is your question. The marsha says that the reason why Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai was miuchas to Avraham Avinu was because Avraham Avinu put his mind to be choker after the emuna and across for the so because of that, Maaseh Merkava, Maaseh Bereshit is the same thing. That's why they were trying to do that. They were trying to learn Maaseh Merkava because that's the Emunah in HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Okay? So says the Gemara, any, is it so? Yeah, any, is it so? But Tanya, we learned in the right that Yosef Rebbe Yudah, Rebbe Yosef Rebbe says, Shlosha Aratzoten. There are three different, uh, sorry, Shlosha Aratzot, there are three different Dirashot in Maaseh Merkava. Rabbi Yoshua he said in front of Yochanan Zakai. Rabbi Yoshua did it in front of Yochanan Zakai. Rabbi Kiva in front of Rabbi Yoshua. Chania mechayichina in front of Rabbi Kiva. Ve'ilu et Rabbi Lazam and Rach. He doesn't mention about Rabbi Lazam and Zarach that he did it in front of Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakai. So I answer the Gemara: De arzi ve arzi kame kachashi. De arzi ve lo arzi kame lo kachashi. Somebody that was marze and gam in tzua cherim in front of, and other people did it to them as well. Those were brought down in the Gemara. But the ones that they did it to in front of other people, but nobody did it to them. Meaning, Rabbi Lazaman as a Benarach, he only was Doresh, Masim and Kava in front of his rabbi, but nobody did it in front of him. So, for since nobody did it in front of him and it wasn't the continuation of the, of the Kabbalah, of the Masoret, of the tradition, so therefore we didn't count them. We only brought the ones which were from the, the rabbi to the student and then the student to another, meaning that he became the rabbi and then it was his student and it continued going down. So, I asked him, now, one second. One second. Nobody did it in front of him. And we still brought him down as well. Right? So he says, the Gemara, the arce mia kame man de arce. So he says, answers the Gemara, even though other people didn't do it in front of him, nevertheless, he was the one that was, he was the one that did it in front of other people that were Marseh. So which means that the, the, the writer are counting people, right? That it wasn't only to themselves, it was also the other people as well. So therefore, that's what he says. He says, Khanir did it in front of Akiva as well. Right, to teach us that Rabbi Kiva did it from other people as well. So therefore, that's why it was also brought down. Tan Rabbanan, we learned in the right, this is a very famous Gemara. Very, very famous Gemara. So please pay attention. Yeah, you don't need the, the phones to see them, right? But you have it in the Gemara. So he says over here like this. Yeah, he says, Tan Rabbanan, Arba'an Ba Pardes. There were four people that they came in to the Pardes. Okay, Ve'eluhen. And these are these four People. Now, again, here, when it says Pardes, it's Mamash, uh, you have here footnotes, there's Rashi, we're talking about the before Chachamin they went into the Rakia, the firmaments, this, that, it, it, yeah. it's very deep things here, which are it. Ve'eluem, ben Azai, ben Zoma, Acher, and Rabbi Akiva. Okay, so these are the four rabbis. Okay, the four people. Amal em Rabbi Akiva. What was the reason we so the Gemara now says, Amal Ha'am Rabbi Kiva, says Rabbi Kiva, Keshatem Agin Etzel Avnei HaShayish Atahor. When you guys are going to get to Avnei HaShayish, the stones of Shayish, of pure marble, right, which is like they're, they're like, mamash, like a pure water, like clear water. Be very careful not to make a mistake, right? So he says, Al Tomru, don't say, my my Yeshkan, right? How do we continue going, right? Because basically, if you're going to be close to the Shekhinah, you have to be careful even from a small little tiny mistake. Mishum Shnei Mabba says in a Pasuk, so he says, somebody that's not going to be, that's going to be somebody that's going to speak falsely, they're not going to be kayam, they're not going to be sustained in front of me. Benazai, he tzit. So Benazai, he looked towards the Shekhinah, vamet, and he died. Which means that it became so close, it, 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 it wasn't enough, it was, it was too powerful. So therefore, as the Shema went, and he passed away. Okay, that was Benazai. Okay? Um, it says over here, Okay, that was Ben Azai. That's why it says in the Pasuk on him, Yakar Hashem Right? It is precious in the eyes of Hashem 
the death of his chasidav. Yakar is it's kaved, it's like heavy. So what does it mean in it's heavy? It's like kaved in front of him. Why? Because he died very, very young. Right? He didn't even have his full potential, but he died very, very young. Ben Zoma, he looked at the Shekhinah, Ben Ivga, right? He became uh, crazy. Right? He lost his mind. Right? Remember the Ben was a was a semel of Hasidut. It says over here. Okay, now he says Ben Zoma, he didn't actually get to the Rama still of Ben Azai. So therefore, when he so he, he he just went a little bit off. His mind was not was not there. Okay. One died and one. Died. One became a little crazy, right? The next one, then on him it's sort of Allah Akdov Omer the vash matzata yechol da yechap pendis ben vakeoto that a person you have to be careful because if you're going to eat the vash, right, you're going to eat the the honey, right? If you're going to eat too much, Rebbe, you shouldn't eat too much because if you're going to eat too much and then you're going to be satiated from honey, tis ben vakeoto you're going to vomit it. Meaning vash. Right? Exactly. You taste a little bit, but if you have too much, exactly. If you have too much, gamarnu. Right? You had it. Acher kitzet benetiot, which means he was kilkel v'yivet, what he understood. And because of that, right, he went off. Right? And that's a big problem. Yeah, that's a kitzet benetiot. I don't know how you translate that literally. Um, literally means that he he was like, uh, he went and he, and he ruined the 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 the, the, the yeah. saplings, the, the trees. Like he's like uh Kotsetz is like to cut, he's cutting the trees, right? That's what he did. So that means he, he basically distorted, right? What uh, what was going on, and therefore that's what happened to him. The Bekiva Yatsab Shalom. The Bekiva was only one that he went out with peace. Okay, Nikhnas Bashalom Yatsab Shalom. That was only one. Okay. Now he says over here, Shalud ben Zoma. So now comes, and the Gemara is going to come and explain. That since it's already written about Ben Zoma, so we're going to mention two shelot, two different questions that they asked Ben Zoma. Shalu Ben Zoma, they asked Ben Zoma, Maul Saruse Kalba, are you allowed to be Mesares a Kelim? Are you allowed to, to, what is it called? Ruder? Ruder? Ruder. Yeah. Ruder. El Duter. L O O Duter. And Ignes. Ah, to neuter. So to neuter. Are you allowed to neuter a dog? Which means are you to make it a city, a sterile? Are you allowed to sterilize the dog? So he comes and he says, why? Because maybe it's only uh, uh, animals which are fitting for a sacrifice. Okay, so he says, he comes and he says, anything which is in your land, you're not to do with any, any type of an animal, even if it's not it's fitting for a korban, because you never bring a dog as a korban, but you're still going to not be prohibited to come and to neuter a dog. Shalu ben Zoma, second question. Betula shibra maul gadol. Imagine right now you have a betula, that she became pregnant, right? So you, you see the entire story of uh, uh, Virgin Mary comes from the Gemara. Yeah, so he says over oh, yeah, here, oh, yeah. right? So what happens is, what? Oh, yeah. yeah, so oh, right? So he says, yeah. right? Is it right now, Betula Shebra, you have a virgin that she becomes pregnant. What is she to a Kohen Gadol? Is she allowed to come and to marry, get married to a Kohen Gadol? Because remember, a Kohen Gadol has to get married to a Pnuya, to somebody that never had relations. Now, she's still a Betula. Yeah, she yeah, still yeah. has, what? No, no, no. Uh, what? There's the Gimara second question. Shalu ben Zoma, they come and they ask ben Zoma. So again, betula shibra ma'u le kohen gadol is he allowed to go to a kohen gadol? So says the Gimara, mi chashina le be Do we respect to the case of Shmuel? The Amar Shmuel Shmuel says, yachol ani livol kama bilot belo dam. I can actually come and have relations a few times and not even take out the dam betulim, which means that they do it in a certain fashion that it's on the side that they don't actually penetrate the betulim, they don't break the virginity. And therefore, she could still become pregnant, but in such shani, she's still a virgin. Or Dilmar, maybe this one Maybe it's not common. Meaning, not everyone knows how to do that. So the fact that not everyone knows how to do such a thing, so that's why we meant it's not. We're not. We're going to say it's a sur. So Amalehu, this one It's not. It's not common. The chashina, but we are going to suspect Shema Bambati Bra. Maybe she became pregnant through the bathtub, which means that if Zera came into the bathtub and then she becomes pregnant, so therefore that could actually happen. And by the way, you should know. Right, just to finish this off, this is brought down in the in Siman Aleph, right, in Shulchan Ruch, about this case, because who was Nitabra Beambati, right? Ben Sira. Ben Sira was the son and grandson of Yirmiyahu Anavi. The son and grandson of Yirmiyahu Anavi. How does that happen? Right? So what happened was, is that the, the, the they were... Bidyonim, they were Bidyonim, that they were that they wanted to get rid of his nevuah. How do you get rid of a nevuah of an avi? So what they did was is that they took him into a bathtub, like into a bathhouse, 
and they caused them to do Zer al right? They were the ones that they, they forced them to do Zer al to Yirmiyahu Navi. And Yirmiyahu Navi, if this is going to happen to him, he's going to lose his Nebuah. That's what they wanted. They didn't want his Nebuah about the destruction of Bet Amidash and about all these things. Remember, Yirmiyahu Navi was the prophet of the time of the destruction of Bet Amidash. He was telling them all these things. So, Akadosh Baruch Hu, in order not to make it that it was going to be Zer al in vain, his daughter went into the bathtub after him. She became pregnant and she had Ben Sida. Ben Sida is the same numerical value as Yumiao. Yim, so there was Ben Sida was the son and the grandson of Yumiao and Avi. That's brought down. Now, why is it brought down there in Shuhan Ruch? Because there's a question are you Yutere Chova, Pidia Vidivia, procreating by this fashion? Nafkamina, nowadays with all the IVF and all those things, that is the same concept. So everything has to do with the same, the same thing. I'm going to 